Doesn't look like the chickens really want to come out yet this morning. It's cold out this morning. Well, it's two days until my surgery. So today is going to be spent mostly going around and getting last minute things done. Going to town to get all the feed that we're gonna need for the next six weeks, so it's here. Uh, Sarah will have it here handy, ready, so when I can't lift it out of the car or load it in the truck, it's already here. We're down to just two guineas left out of 10. These two are the lone survivors. The others have all disappeared. We know what that means. We just got back from town where we were picking up all of our feed and everything to prepare for the next few weeks. And we stopped by the post office to check our P.O. box and we were blown away <laughs> at how many Christmas cards we've received already. Uh, this is gonna be such a fun giveaway. Um, I think there's like a hundred cards here already this first weekend, which is just awesome. Uh, we're having such a good time. We didn't even get our coats off. We've sat down. We said, oh, we're just going to open five of them and, and read them. And so far <laughs> we've read all of these and we're just having a blast. Yeah. Um, just seeing, uh, you know, your cards that you're sending us and reading uh, such kind notes. And uh, uh, thank you all for the prayers for my surgery coming up. Um, we're just really having a great time. We've got cards from, from so many places already. We're actually gonna jump online and order a United States map so we can start putting pins where we get all the cards from because we think that'd be kind of cool. So, oh, Van Zandt, Missouri. Hey, that's not far from no, us. No, that's like right down the road. In the hustle and bustle of the summer and fall with all of the animals that we were processing, there are some things that just ended up not getting done. There are fences that are still out that we need to pack up and put away for the winter. This fence back here is where we kept Rocky, our buck, before we had a permanent fenced area for him. Uh, we created that permanent fenced area because our new buck, Pluto, came from a permanent fence farm and had never been in this uh, electric netting. So we moved the guys over there and so we need to take down this fencing before it just gets ruined in the weather by other animals. So that, that's just one of the loose ends that we need to wrap up before Kevin's surgery and before the hard winter comes. Before I'm helpless. <laughs> before I have to do it all by myself. One more thing I want to get done before my surgery tomorrow is just get these uh, chicken tractors put away for the rest of the winter. Um, I've actually got some big sheets of cardboard I'm going to bring and put underneath them uh, so that the weeds and stuff don't grow up before we need them again in the spring. Uh, I'm just going to park them back here behind the pig pen where they're out of the way until spring. Uh, all this little stuff 
that I thought I had time to put off and now I don't have time to put it off anymore. So that's what we're doing now. We had so many things going on at once in the beginning of fall, the end of summer, that some things just didn't get put away uh, when they needed to be. These, uh, this is actually the Cornish chicken tractor, which we, you know, butchered those guys first out of everything. But then it was just like one thing after another after another. And so this has just remained there exactly where it was on the day we butchered them. You know, things just happen and not every day is a perfect day on the homestead, not even ours. Our final outdoor project today is to just take down the electric netting that we use around our big garden in the summer. Uh, we've left it up until we know everything is dead so that uh, hopefully deer and stuff don't learn to come in here. Uh, but now it's time to take it down so that it can store over the winter and prolong the life of it. Uh, we do still have the garden fabric, the plastic woven fabric down on the garden and we're gonna keep that there for probably another couple months to make sure it's good and cold so that when we bring it up, there's not a possibility of a lot of weeds and stuff growing back. Uh, it will also give us an opportunity then to spread any manure if we want to at that time. And it'll be interesting to see what it looks like underneath there uh, and, and just see how barren it is. Yeah, my plan is once we lift all that up is to till the garden before and put you know put manure down and till it back in before we put the plastic down um, but you know it's going to have to be after I'm recovered right. from surgery because I only have a hand tiller not one for the tractor and so um, that's probably not a smart thing to do right after hernia surgery yeah. so we're gonna get busy on this fence because it's cold out and I want to go stand by the wood stove for a while for ATVs. Well, we're back inside where it's nice and warm. We've got a nice fire going in the wood stove. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the quail and the chicks. If you remember, uh, they both hatched on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, so it's kind of easy to remember. Um, I am amazed at how fast these quail babies are growing. The chicks, the, the chicken chicks, were about twice or more the size of the quail when they hatched. But the quail are almost as big as the uh, chicks now. And they'll be two weeks old starting tomorrow. They hatch that Wednesday and Thursday over Thanksgiving. So tomorrow they'll be two weeks old. I'm going to show you quick the quail. Now the quail also are amazing flyers already. If I take this cover all the way off, they can already fly out of here. I had one fly all the way down onto the ground a little while ago. So I'm gonna be careful grabbing one out of here. There we go. So here's one of the quail. 
you can see they're really growing they've got most of their feathers in already uh, I think about another week and I'll be able to sex them now remember though by six weeks old six to eight weeks old uh, they'll be full size and ready to process and they'll also start laying eggs by eight weeks old which is just pretty amazing now the chicken chicks let me grab one of those and I'll show you how big they're getting now these are just uh, a farmyard mix they're nothing you know they're no specific breed but they're actually really pretty looking chickens they're a little bit bigger than the quail but not much bigger than the quail now because of the cold temperatures outside we're gonna have to keep them in the house normally we don't like to raise animals in the house but since we were so busy all summer we weren't able to get things in the incubator we well, guys behind us are the cards that were received the very first day of our Christmas card contest. We received a hundred cards the very first day. One hundred exactly. Yeah, one hundred exactly. <laughs> uh, we're so excited. Uh, we sat down and we read every single one and we plan on reading every single one uh, that we receive. We're just blown away by the nice notes. Uh, that we received and I just need to personally say uh, thank you for all the people who said you're going to be praying and thank you to me uh, for my surgery. Uh, if you're watching this thing first thing in the morning when this video comes out, I'm on my way to the hospital right now and my surgery is scheduled at 7.30 a.m. Um, on Wednesday. Central so, time. Central time. So yeah. uh, if you'd think of me and say some prayers for me, that would be great as I go into um, surgery uh, this morning. Yeah, you guys, uh, the cards have been such a blessing to us. We can't even tell you how much this means to us. Even though the first uh, 50 have come in and seeds will go out back to those people. Don't forget that we have multiple prizes that will be given away. We'll do those drawings on December 18th. So keep the cards coming. Um, if not just for the giveaways, just you guys, it has really meant a lot to us. It's really been a blessing. Yeah, it really has. We've had a blast reading them all. Yes. So you guys, thanks so much for joining us today while we prepare for Kevin's big day. We really appreciate it. So if you're not a subscriber yet, right now is a perfect time to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, remember that we will be putting updates on uh, how Kevin is doing in the community tab for our YouTube channel uh, as well uh, as on social media. And until next time, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Keep praying for, for us. Um, until next time, take care and God bless. God bless.